money, Lebowski. <laughs> A few moments later. Please pay careful attention to the MPG during this mission. MPG during this mission. No, your group is on. Okay, let's begin the briefing. Operator Eugene Solano, I'll be keeping you up to date. We've got news that an invading LASAP squadron has just taken off from the Puna Plains and route for an attack on our position, Aubrey Base. From their perspective, this attack is the final nail in our collective coffin. After all, this is the only base that hasn't fallen under their control. I guess we can consider ourselves lucky. It looks like the enemy has gotten a little overconfident and sent only a small attack force. Griffith Squadron, prepare for launch immediately. Fly around. I forgot. The enemy squadron consists mainly of... Please protect If us. everything goes well, all right. One um, okay, let's begin the briefing. Operator, Eugene. we've got news that an invading LASAP squadron has just taken off from the Puna Plain. From their perspective, this attack is the final nail. After all, this is the only base that has... I guess we can consider ourselves lucky. It looks like the enemy has gotten a little over... Griffith Squadron, prepare for launch immediately. Fly around... Oh, I forgot. The enemy squadron consists mainly of... Bomb. Please protect this base and destroy... If the everything goes... Let this be a symbol of the fury borne by our countrymen towards our relics. Such was the impassioned speech of Laysath's commander, Diego Gaspar Navarro, as images of the Aurelian squadron's destruction over Cape Aubrey played in the background. A day later, his gravelly voice continued to echo through my hungover brain. October. One year after the cessation of the Democratic Republic of Laysath's civil war, 
After the Civil War, Laysath began to set their sights on their peaceful neighbor, the Federal Republic of Aurelia, claiming retribution for years of exploitation. The invasion suddenly began. With the ever-present threat of the cloaked airborne fortress, Glapnir, looming overhead, there was little time to react to the few concerns raised about the validity of the war. Such was the speed at which all of Aurelia fell under Laysath's control. Well, not everything has fallen into their hands, but it's only a matter of time. Looking out over the capital, Gaius Tower is both home to Laysath's central command and the very symbol of its power. It was originally intended to be a symbol of Aurelia's peace. <laughs> How ironic. As I looked up at the sun traveling the same old path across the sky, the rays burned my tired eyes. Damn it. I just wish I could finish covering this completely one-sided war and head back home. I'll never get used to being in the southern hemisphere with its backward seasons. Let this be a symbol of the fury borne by our countrymen towards Aurelia. Such was the impassioned speech of Laysath's commander, Diego Gaspar Navarro, as images of the Aurelian squadron's destruction over Cape Aubrey played in the background. A day later, his gravelly voice continued to echo through my hungover brain. October. One year after the cessation of the Democratic Republic of Laysath Civil War. After the Civil War, Laysath began to set their sights on their peaceful neighbor, the Federal Republic of Aurelia, claiming retribution for years of exploitation. The invasion suddenly began. With the ever-present threat of the cloaked airborne fortress, Glapnir, looming overhead, there was little time to react to the few concerns raised about the validity of the war. Such was the speed at which all of Aurelia fell under Laysath's control. Well, not everything has fallen into their hands, but it's only a matter of time. Looking out over the capital, Gaius Tower is both home to Laysath's central command and the very symbol of its power. It was originally intended to be a symbol of Aurelia's peace. <laughs> How ironic. As I looked up at the sun traveling the same old path across the sky, the rays burned my tired eyes. Damn it. I just wish I could finish covering this completely one-sided war and head back home. I'll never get used to being in the Southern Hemisphere with its backward seasons.
MPG will display the number of landing ships from the port. Please pay careful attention to the MPG during this mission. So, your group is one, huh? I'm Major Berkman, Ground Force Commander. There are landing ships within the enemy. When we lose the battle, the battalion is allowed to make it ashore. Do not allow more than three landing ships to enter the port. We will be risking our necks out here with you. Let's take back Fort Patterson. Just make sure that bridge is raised. Right. 
Everyone, stand by over the castle. Wait for Garuda 2's takeoff.